Well, it does seem to be so. I mean, Spain is most notable. I think people are actually pulled in by the police for driving their cars on their own in Spain with the windows open, not wearing a muzzle. Hmm. Uh, this is the extent of the absurdity. And and, and yes, indeed, the, the, the infections are rising in Spain. But this is no surprise to anybody who's looked into the, the experimental basis of masks. If you wear a, a tight-fitting surgical-type mask, uh, which you never touch and which you throw away when you finish with it and don't reuse, then in a hospital setting with all kinds of other precautions, you will reduce the spread of, of infection. That's what they use for yeah. in hospitals. If you wear a rectangle of cloth, uh, which you constantly touch, which you take off and put on again, uh, which is loose at the edges and not fitted, uh, then nothing of the kind will happen. And this is perfectly obvious to anybody who thinks about it. The, and also, if you look at the graphs of the level of deaths and hospitalizations from COVID, you'll see that mask wearing was introduced pretty much when they'd reached rock bottom. Mm. So it isn't, it, it, everybody who knows anything about it and who understands the issue knows that they, they weren't introduced for medical reasons. The, the reason that they were introduced is, is yet more of this attempt to spread alarm and fear and, and keep people worrying about this threat and that therefore make them uh, obedient to government dictat. The, the mask is a badge of obedience and assent to a daft government policy. It's mm. one of the main reasons why people like me won't have anything to do with it and oppose it because it, it's not a medical thing. It's, it's like being forced to wear, if you were a liberal, uh, or indeed me, I don't like President Trump either. It's like being forced to wear one of those red Make America Great Again baseball caps. Right. It's a declaration of support for a policy, and indeed, in, in the case of Mr. Johnson, a person of whom I deeply disapprove. Yeah. It's like the days when people in, in totalitarian countries had to wear the party badge, had to wear the party armband, had to fly the party flag on their on their balconies during, during party feast days. Forced to assent. Uh, to a policy you don't agree with. It's it's compelled speech, it's an assault on liberty. That's the reason for being against it. I mean, there are plenty of other reasons for not doing it. It's a repellent thing to have to do. And mm. just looking at the, the poor, surrendered, submissive look of, of people scurrying around their eyes, peering over the top of them, it, it, it's pathetic to see grown men and women acting in this way but uh, and, and, and embarrassing in some ways. But I, I try to be uh, pleasant and tolerant because, you know, it's as I say, from the start, I treated believers in this scare story as uh, as if they were adherents of, a, of another religion mm. to which one has to be polite yes no i think and i think that's the right thing to do because we will make america great again